guys and welcome to Slash Rex Games. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a bullet at the tip of the gun every time you shoot. It's good for top down games, you know, zombie shooters or whatever you want. So the first thing we're going to do is create a bullet object. I'm using the base from our last tutorial where we made our object player just point towards the mouse at every step and when it's created. Okay, so we're going to make our bullet uh, object. I've got the sprite there already. So let's go here. We're going to go object bullet. Okay, and give him the sprite of object bullet. Okay, so now we need to measure the difference between the origin of your player and the tip of the gun. So here we've got 30, 22 as our origin. Center of the gun is about, let's see, uh, I'm going to say about there. Or maybe, no, a little bit further. Out. Let's get it right on the top. We want it to be as best as possible. Okay, so 5823. It's not exactly on the center, it's not a line, it's a bit skewed. But anyway, so with the code I'm going to show you now, it doesn't matter where this turret is or the object, the, the gun, it'll always shoot it out that location. So we've got 5823. So the difference between 5823 and 3022, which was our origin, was about. Uh, x plus 28 and y plus 1 okay so we don't we don't save this so we know that it's 58 23 you write it down somewhere you find the difference so we go no so now we go to our object player okay then in his create event we're going to have some variables first we're going to want to have like his ammo so we have variable ammo equal oh you don't really have to put you can just say ammo equals 100 and then you've got len x and len y so these are our differences between origin so the len x difference was what 28 you know, and the y difference was just one you don't have to put plus you know, or if it's plus you know you don't have to put that in but if it's minus you do have to obviously put in the minus but in this case it didn't it's just 28 and one so we've got our ammo len x and len y these are the variables we're using to shoot the bullet out of the tip okay so save that now we're gonna have to create our trigger not well not trigger i mean you know when you shoot so what we can use i don't know any kind of key in my case i'm going to be using global mouse left button so every time you you left click then it does this action of shooting a bullet out the tip okay so we got our global left button and what we're going to want to do is create some code first we're going to say if ammo is greater than naught so we don't want it to shoot if we don't have ammo. Ammo is greater than naught. First thing we're going to want to do is take ammo and minus it by 1. Or not 2, 1. Okay, so ammo will be less by 1 every time you shoot. Then we're going to create our variable bullet ID. It's just the name of the bullet we're giving it. Now here's where it happens. We're going to say bullet ID equals instance create okay so what do we want to create now we're going to have to give the coordinates and the angles and everything of where we want the bullet to be created now because you're going to be spinning around and rotating and all that we want it to be created exactly at that tip no matter where it is no matter what angle it's at okay so instance create so we say x plus length direction x len x see that's where our len x comes in and our image angle of our player minus length direction y oops y then y that's our y over there and image angle of our player again then comma so that's the first part so we've got the x over there and the y part of that then we go here comma y plus direction y then we've got len x again remember everything is case sensitive so make sure you call your variables the same things uh, okay image angle so we've got len x image angle now over here we minused the x from the y so here we're going to have to plus plus Direction x 
len y and our image angle of our player again. So it's quite a mouthful that. It's quite long. But with this code, wherever you click, it'll create the bullet at the tip, no matter where it is. Okay, then what do we want to create? We want to create object bullet. Okay. So, so it'll create the object bullet at that point. Next. Next, we're going to do bullet ID. I'm going to give it its direction equals image angle. So that's just uh, the angle of our player, whichever way he's pointing, that's where it will start traveling. Now we say bullet ID dot image angle. Now we need to make sure the angle of the bullet is the same as where it's going. Dot direction. Okay, so let's recap here. If we've got ammo and we click and we've got ammo, then it'll shoot, it'll minus one from our ammo, it'll create or it'll, it'll have the variable ID that bullet ID, it'll create this bullet ID, instance create. Then here we've got the X, the next direction of the X, which is len X, and image angle of our player. So that's the difference in the X between the origin and the tip of the gun. Minus Y, len Y, that's the difference between the origin and the Y. So this part is the X, and that part over here is the Y coordinate. And takes into account the image angle all the time here of the player like four times there and then lastly what we want to create object bullet so that's pretty much it for the global left button code so now we've got to move over to the create of the bullet bullet object so we've got a bullet object here when it's created we're going to want it to move towards point move towards point mouse x this is just wherever it's aiming Obviously, mouse X and mouse Y, and the speed, let's just say 25. Okay, so when it's created, it's going to move towards mouse X, mouse Y at speed 25. Okay, save that. Just save project and play. Okay, so he rotates just as in the last tutorial, moves around, and every time we shoot, the bullet comes out of the tip exactly and goes wherever he's pointing so that's pretty much it if the turret was I don't know somewhere else not exactly aligned with the center it doesn't matter with this code it'll work just as well okay so that's pretty much it thanks for watching in the next tutorial we'll be adding you know reloads and gaps between shooting because sometimes you don't want it to spray out you know really unrealistically so we'll be doing that in the next tutorial so stay tuned thanks for watching